Hi everybody, this is Tony again from Tech Support. Uh, this week's tip is going to be about uh, uninstalling IE9. Okay, uh, currently we do not support IE9. We're working on um, making our of text work with IE9. So I'll go ahead and show you how to take out IE9 and uh, how uh, your system will come back to using IE8. Okay, what I will do is I will go to the start menu and open control panel okay here's my control panel and I go down to uh, programs and select at the top here you'll have programs and features uh, you can go that go to that uh, and in, in this uh, view here it will show you your application programs so you'll not you're not going to be able to find IE9 listed in here what you need to do is on the left side um, there's a view installed updates IE9 is considered an update so we're gonna choose that and then you will have the updates list on the right side and you're gonna scroll down to the Microsoft Windows section so we have Microsoft Windows section and it happened to be the first one there on the list uh, Windows Internet Explorer 9 you highlight that and then when you highlight it you go back up you will see the uninstall button there and you choose that and you get prompted are you sure you want to uninstall this update we'll go ahead and say yes and on it goes um, please wait while the updates are being uninstalled this uh, might take several minutes so we'll let it go on Okay, so now we have IE8 back. We're going to go ahead and start it. And uh, we'll give uh, App Reader a try. Uh, oh, we, we're going to get this. Uh, uh, you just set up Windows in our Explorer 8 screen. Uh, we can just do a next on that. And uh, yes, turn on suggested sites. And then next and use express finish and now we're back to IE8 and we're gonna go ahead and try app reader now and it should work for us app reader tool okay app reader tool and I'll by John Springer Donald Trump's continued insistence that Barack Obama produce a okay so as you can see Zoomfix reading support is back and we also have xfont back unlike if we had IE9 you won't have app reader nor nor uh, xfont and that's this week's tip